I found this Tamiya model kit sports car series number 166 on eBay which is a 124th scale version of a 1996 BMW Z3. I thought it would be a fun project. I wanted to add various modifications so it would look like my wife's 2002 Z3 and add LED lighting of course. Color selection was a challenge. I had ordered some custom BMW Sienna Red from a zero paint supplier, but it never came. Turns out with COVID and Brexit, it is difficult to get zero paints in the US. Plus, I think the supplier was a ripoff. I then found Scale Finishes that also does custom automotive colors, and within weeks I had matching paint. I must also say that this paint was amazing to airbrush and work with. And here is the completed model. <laughs> Lighting was a challenge due to the small size. The infrared sensor is right behind the front grille and needs a direct hit to work. And with two cameras running, it was a struggle to get the alignment correct to send to each command. I also made a lighted dash console. I started with figuring out how many circuits were needed and what type of LEDs would be used. I also wanted to work with infrared, so I purchased some cheap remotes from eBay and selected a set of command codes. I then began the modification, starting with making a clear instrument console. I used black enamel paint to block light bleeding. I added in the roll bars, carpeting, and decals for the Harman Kardon stereo. I also did my best to recreate the wood grain effect for the center console. Now for some bodywork. I needed to cut out the molded side lights for each side and cut openings for the front parking lights. I then needed to fabricate some clear lenses for the openings created. The rear taillights were changed slightly for the 2002 year, so this required modifying the lens as well as the body to fill in the light section that was removed. Here I'm starting to assemble the front headlight and fog light sections. For the electronics, I went with the ATtiny85 AVR microcontrollers and designed my own circuit board since I would be using this on future projects. The board can be used with through-hole or surface mount ATtiny85s. It has a programming block, two surface mount transistor or MOSFET drivers, and three small development areas. 
Each driver can connect to one of the I.O. lines of the AT Tiny, one driver for each side with the solder bridge to make the selection. For this project, I used two of these boards, one for the front and one for the rear. I used the development areas to mount the IR receiver and some extra LED transistor drivers. The IR receiver is shared by both boards along with the battery. Now I'm doing a final test of the electronics. I started to use foil tape to block light bleed, but it was difficult to get into all the areas needed, so I switched to using black enamel paint, and then finally I tried black liquid tape, which works extremely well and can be peeled off like a thin rubber coating if needed. Now we're ready for assembly. So things I would do differently. Even cutting out parts of the front end undercarriage, the LED stuck out a bit more than expected, so I lost the ability to rotate the front wheels as the LED wires get in the way. I should have gone with Pico LEDs all around instead of just the side lights. This would have reduced the LED size as well as the wiring thickness. Also, the battery is not powerful enough for the lighting. Even though I drastically reduced the current driving the headlights, it still puts too much load on the battery. I think I would select an AT Tiny 84 with more I.O. lines and then use the trunk area for a larger battery source. The tail lights are not full lenses, but I glue on overlay so you can see the holes I drilled for the LEDs. I did sand the back of the lenses to help diffuse them from showing through. I think I could have cut out more of the body area and thickened the existing lenses. And I'm most bummed that the metal foil Z3 emblem on the back fell off somewhere. Not sure how old this kit was, but the adhesive was not very strong, and I should have glued them on directly. Oh well, live and learn. A shout out to my few subscribers. I'm so glad you're enjoying these videos, and thanks for subscribing. If you are new to my channel and enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button below, as I have many projects planned for the future. If you would like to see the project that started it all, see the Microsteen video. The link is listed below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.